Christmas, we wish you My name is Kevin from Commitment for Life. And given how difficult 2020 has been and continues to be, I wanted to wish you a blessed Advent and Christmas. Commitment for Life is the United Reformed Church's global justice program. We enable local congregations to engage in their mission for global justice by focusing on four regions of the world, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh, Central America, and Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. We work very closely with our partners Christian Aid and with Global Justice Now. St. Andrew's Church Round A is a highly valued Commitment for Life partner. And we are grateful for the work that you do in support of some of the poorest people in the world, very often at the forefront of the climate emergency. A special shout out to Tim and Pam, who do so much to keep the issue of global justice at the forefront of our minds. St. Andrews has a specific concern for Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. Now, COVID-19 and the subsequent lockdown have had a devastating effect on the West Bank. In particular, Bethlehem has suffered because they heavily rely on tourism. Christian Aid's country manager is William Bell, and this is what he recently said. Well, I'm William Bell, and I work for Christian Aid's program in Israel, the occupied Palestinian territory. Love means many things to many people, but I think that love in all its forms is at its best when everyone, regardless of race or religion, can live in equality with justice and dignity. And so to today, as this devastating virus across the world devastates, love will continue to rise up in response. You've already shown incredible kindness to your neighbours and now is the time to reach out beyond to those further away. Your love protects from conflict, from storms, from cyclones and now from coronavirus. Your love protects our global neighbours battling the spread of this illness. With soap, clean water, medical supplies and protecting human rights. You can reach out and protect more of your neighbours today. Thank you very much. Your support is needed now more than ever. And so may I ask you that you pray without ceasing for our sisters and brothers in Israel and Palestine. Pray for peace, pray for justice, pray that the kingdom might break through, particularly in the place of Jesus' birth.